Whitstable. That's what it's called. Whitstable. Really cute. You know what? I love an independent high street. You know me. Supporting those independents. But this is like a high street of pure independentness. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> that, well, there's a few bits and pieces. But what you, for the size of this high street, honestly, I think it's one of the largest independent high streets I've ever seen. As in it stretches for very, very, very... Well, Long. No, it's not a stretch long, does it really? Well, it stretches, that's how you say oh, it. Oh, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, yeah. they had loads of trash shops. It was littered with them. Unfortunately, we came on a Sunday. Look at that. Um, Walking which, the corgis. Oh, RIP. Which was uh, both badly planned. Well, it wasn't planned. It was it was on the on a whim. So there were a few that were closed. So we went in the ones that we could basically before it started t- absolutely tipping it down. Um, actually, that was uh, incredible, wasn't it? I actually can't believe how much rain there was that came down. Anyway, um, I highly recommend this high street if you're local. I feel a lot like of, you're shouting at me. Sorry, a lot of local people have said that. Um, her message like on our last Margate video yep. and uh, suggested uh, places for us to visit when we're around next. But Whitstable, big up the Whitstable. Have we had any messages about Whistable? I was going to say, have we? Why would we if they haven't seen this video yet, have they? No, so why would people randomly message us about a town that they haven't seen? Back to the Future vibes, really, mm-hmm. wouldn't it? Yep. This is And Other Stories. Um, I actually really like picking up And Other Stories. I mean, it is it is your standard uh, sourdough and truffle butter. That's Bethany's new uh, uh, fresh saying for bread and butter. Um, sourdough and truffle butter. If you can pick it up cheap enough, it just flies out for me personally for about you know 25 to 30, depending on the garment. I thought this was very seasonal. Not very what was Christmas-y. the problem with this though? It had too many pools of a unrepairable nature. Yeah, you, to be honest, if these things are cheap enough, we'll even buy them if there's something like if there's a small fault. I'll obviously list it as, as fault with the fault, but I'm saying they still make very very good money. Yeah, if you can it, buy them cheap, hundred percent. But, but that if, was like faults galore. Or if they're fixable. Oh, fixable, yeah. Because sometimes they just need a Or like de-bobs. a button or a debobble. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Say debobs. I won't say it. Okay. I won the debobs. Um, <laughs> this was a sense. I've never been in a sense before. I assume it's a... Um... I've been in many a sense. Have you? No, none, no, none whatsoever. No, I wind up. Yeah. Um, but it was, I actually quite enjoyed it. I had a nice time. They had a really good selection of brands. Um, a lot of sort of... Uh, bread and butter stuff as I say and we picked out like a few key pieces to show you yep um, but as like a, a general you could run a business from it oh yeah I agree with that literally there was quite a few bits which we didn't pick up which you probably could have because we were just kind of oh, we were. it was more of a browse wasn't it than an actual like a, a search well because it was a Sunday and it was raining there was uh-huh. also minimal like shops open there were there were definitely charity shops oh hello um there were charity shops which you, could have, you couldn't have gone in because they were closed. This is a Burberry polo shirt. Men's size large. Is it small or large? A medium or large. Oh, or medium maybe. The, um, these go for real good money with the Nova Check edging. We had we had one of these quite recently. Uh, believe it or not, sold on Vestier as opposed to eBay or Vinted or anywhere else. The last one we had though, which Austin has kindly put the little Complorinos up for. This was ours. It sold for 77 I was happy to take that because it was a small. Yeah. This is a large, so I want nearer to that, you know. I agree I, I would be less inclined to take that kind of offer on this one uh, but with a small especially small men's um i do find generally they go for less yes 100 percent. and this is beige although beige is beige um it's, it's the nova check it's Burberry the nova, kind of vibes yes now this is a brand i have never found before i know if you've never heard of it now you have it's called vanessa bruno vanessa bruno is a designer of obvious i just said that but i looked up her sort of what's the retail retail and sort of listed numbers and we're looking like two to four hundred pound um this was like a woolen tunic asymmetrical thing comps are looking good on ebay and that's bids 119 on bids um i put it up for a hundred just because it isn't it's a pristine. lovely thing yeah um and i like the double collar it's quite a detail yeah if, if bridgerton was on i probably would like bridgerton it up but it's not so i'm not going to this is sunspell i think sunspell is hugely underrated I think uh, Sunspell's undervalued as well. Um, their long t-shirt dresses go a lot better than their t-shirts and their t-shirts are worldwide famous. Yes, yeah, so uh, listed that for ours for 80, got it for, how much was it, Fiverr? Yeah. Fiverr. It was uh, a maxi dress though. It was a maxi dress. Um, that brand we just saw, uh, I didn't even quote it, so apologies, you have to run that back and check it out. But it was actually a brand which, what didn't do too badly as regards full retail, but resale was terrible. Mm-hmm. This is Meadow Rue or Row, however you want to say it, and it is an anthropology brand. And these are good American. This so, is Khloe Kardashian's brand or denim brand with her, I think that's a partner. She's British, you know. 
The partner? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, they go really, really well online. Uh, they're quite expensive to start with. Um, £100 and, at least, Jean. Right? Yeah, I mean, that, that's expensive for what would be a known brand. However, they are famous or well-known um, for being very well-fitting jeans for the plus-size market because they do... And they, tall. They go very high in their sizes. So if yeah. you can get any plus-size, that's where the money is and they will fly out. Ours are a smaller size, but still nice. And I think the brand equity is there that you can make a, a few, yeah. few quid on them for that price. This is a James Pierce top. Um, honestly, just didn't like the light the fire in me. And there, that is a free top frame are famous for making jeans and denim wear this is Stella McCartney but it's for Adidas so I just wanted to let everyone know Stella McCartney for Adidas every charity shop price is high it's Stella McCartney Adidas and not this which is Stella McCartney main brand there is a big difference in prices however Stella McCartney Adidas is very expensive I didn't say it wasn't I'm just saying res resale specifically is a lot lower oh, I mean, than yeah, they're, they're, they're two different things they're just not the to clarify. same no that's what I was getting at um, because the logos are actually very similar it sounds stupid but apart from the Adidas, it's not a really different shape or style. They, they're just very, um, what's the word? They're very similar looking as regards branding. I see what you're saying. But yeah, you can get good money for the Adidas, but I find Ad Adidas whatever. Um, a lot of people, uh, a lot of trash shots overprice it. I spotted a Polly Pocket here and Bethany hadn't yet come into the store. So I wanted to have a quick look before she came in just in case I need to um, sit down. This was, because you usually buy them all. Uh, this was £15, which was, um, to be honest, pretty much what they're going for on eBay. Do you want to explain what this is, Bethany? Because um, there's two it, variations on this, you told me. Yeah, they do a pencil case one, and this is a coin saucer. You can see all the coins go in there. Uh, or a money box, some people call it. Um, it would have come with a car and several figures. Um, however, this is just case or clam only, as they say. That's but, the price with just the case, or like Bethany said, the clam. Um, for, they're going for like 40 or 50 quid, which is very different. But once again, this was empty apart from the actual shells. I am I am a Polly Pocket collector, for anyone who doesn't know. Um, that sounds so geeky. Yeah, I uh, absolutely okay adore them. Yep. Um, however, I am currently working on collecting every one I had as a child. Um, if it doesn't spark joy um, for... Uh, uh, if it's really cheap, I'll get it. But at, uh, at the moment, if I, I can buy that on eBay for the same price and I, I don't want it necessarily for my collection at the moment, so... Fair enough. Um, I, I'm, actually, I'm actually concerned because I don't believe you had that many when you were younger and you have a lot now, so I think that's, that's the, becoming a lie. Do you, know I had <laughs> do you know I had barely any that I had when I was younger? So my the, whole collection so mainly So lots of the ones you have aren't ones you had originally? Yeah, I have maybe two. Good to know. Um, so these are Armani jeans, uh, slip-on loafers, very Todd-esque driving shoes um, in suede. I think these were like 15 or 20 pounds. 30, I thought. Were they? Wow, were they that much? I didn't see. No, I didn't see. Um, I'm so quick with it, like lightning. Uh, but they were too much either way. Uh, Armani jeans, obviously, doesn't do the same many Armani does uh, as regards footwear. I hate uh, picking it's, up Armani. It's, it's a very different brand. We actually mentioned, I think, in our last video as well. Honestly. What, 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 what kind of... Um, or am I saying? Uh, we, we mentioned what the differences were with Armani specifically. Yeah. It's, it's a vast difference as regards cost. Once again, I go back to the Stella Adidas Stella uh, argument. It's, it's a big difference. Yeah, I, I personally, I just find Armani is they've made so much of it that the market is so flooded. And I don't Speaking actually, of flooded, it's not actually that exciting either. It, there's nothing like I don't no, look at Armani and think, wow, that's fun. Or there's not really, I don't think there's a, a brand kind of um, brand descriptor either, as in you don't see a piece and say that's an Armani. From Armani, do if, you see what I'm saying? If anything, I'd pick up denim. Yeah, I'd agree. They're, they're, they're jeans, specifically the vintage I'm ones. I'm desperate for one of these smiley face lights. Um, absolutely desperate. I really want the big one. I refuse to pay retail. If anyone ever finds one, please let me know. Um, I, yeah. You sound so hard done by like... like you, you, like they're like 125 quid. I can't, I can't justify spending that on a smiley face light. That's a madness, yeah, I agree. Yeah, like you can get loads of things with that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. But I really do want one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Maybe. This this was a glove roll, a ladies' coat. It was in the men's section. It was a ladies' coat. Well, it might be the man's coat, which a lady bought, but it was a lady's name in it. Um, you know, like those sticky labels. Um, they go <laughs> they go well. Um, afterwards, I was I can't lie to you all. I kind of thought to myself, why didn't I get it? I re reviewed the footage, and it was because the small person came over and chatted to me, and I'm blaming her for throwing me off my game. It was totally me. Um, I checked these out. Um, obviously, um, these are Sacconi or Sacconi. They look like hookah. Um, they look like hookah, and surprisingly. 
enough, these weren't a great, um, a great seller as regard like for what they went for. Because I think they were t- they were eight or ten pounds, yeah, maybe seven fifty. Saucony's not that brand, is it? Saucony's like a casual shoe brand. Unless they have the real high end gels, a bit like Asics, like mm. they then they don't have that crazy resale value, or like like a hooker or something like that either. It is actually, if you look up the pronunciation onto the Google, it is sock and sock knee. And knee yeah. It's easy to just say literally say sock sock and knee. Yeah, that's how you should say it. And it's it's hooker, isn't we we say hooker really weird too. Just, hooker. We we do. I think it's so you hooker. don't say hooker. You know. Yeah, it's easy to. Well, your hooker shoes. But hooker. But hooker's uh, okay. Trainers resell really well. <laughs> they do. H o k a. I showed this because it's a it's it's, it's a definitely. So I wouldn't know if it's vintage or not necessarily. I mean, I don't know if it's vintage. It's definitely two thousands. Um, but uh, Polo Ralph um, ladies don't tend to go that well. It was Polo jeans by Ralph Lauren, I should say. Um, and they just don't go that well um, in Look that kind this. of era. Look, at, they were they were Grenson's. They were thirty Those, pounds. They were we, Grenson's we shoes for thirty this. pounds. This is Calvin Klein. Now Calvin this Klein. This brought you joy. Do you know what Calvin Klein isn't the one? Uh, the runway stuff is the one, and any sort of like Y two K ninety stuff is the one. However, do you know what I thought? Was, I thought this was special. It's fully sequined, which is quite the task, you know. It's gold, and it's got that Y two K like vibe. I can imagine someone wearing that with like a little I don't know. Vest? No, like like a cardi, you know the crop yeah, cardi. Yeah, okay, I'm with you. Yeah, but like a cardi with nothing and a furry hat. Like, like, like yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. yeah, I like to imagine the people that wear my clothes. I'm like, <laughs> do you do that? Yeah, I, I do sometimes. It, it depends. I, I think it has to be a specific kind of piece. I do it all the time. Like I can't expect. I can't expect that uh, someone in a like a fat face t shirt would look like. Oh, but I imagine know, a, 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 Do you? Okay, yeah. that's that enough was, of us. That was wistable, short and sweet. Beautiful place. Would we'll go back again on a day when the shops were actually open. That helps. Thank you. Bye.